guys, I'm Alison Tumangday and today I will be discussing about CSS or Computer System Servicing in the Electronics Industry. So, for the introduction, alam naman natin na ang technology ay isa sa mga pinakamalaking advancement na nangyari sa mundo. Dahil ang technology ay tumutulong sa mga tao ngayon sa digital era na mapadali ang kanilang mga trabaho at mga ginagawa. Yung mga bagay na iniisip natin dati na imposible or iniisip ng mga tao na parang hindi makatotohanan ay mas madali na or nagagawa na ngayon ng mga computer or ng technology. Kaya naman sa digital age na nararanasan natin ngayon or ng generation natin ngayon, ang pagkakaroon ng knowledge or basic knowledge about computer servicing ay isa sa pinaka-useful or kailangan. So, why is CSS relevant? So, ma-explain yan sa pamagitan ng apat na pictures na to. So, ating repair, monitoring, maintenance, and demand for service providers. So, to further understand these four, I'm going to explain them one by one. So, first, repair. So, kapag narinig nyo yung salitang repair, ano yung unang pumapasok sa isip nyo? Ang pumapasok sa isip ko ay yung pag-ayos. So, according to Tecopedia, that computer repair pertains to the process of resolving problems and issues in a broken computer. Ito mga problems sa to, pwede siyang related sa hardware or software. Example ng mga problems sa hardware ay hindi gumagana ang camera, hindi gumagana ang mouse, and the like. And sa software naman, pwede may virus o malware sa computer mo. Next, monitoring. So, in monitoring, kung narinig na yan, ibig sabihin yan to check or to observe. But according to take a video as well that monitoring are services that are used to detect slow or failing network components. Some examples of what they detect are overloaded or crash frozen servers, failing routers, and the like. Next is maintenance. So, siguro familiar na kayo sa maintenance. Ito yung pag-keep natin sa computer natin in a good condition. Ito yung mga rules na pinag-follow natin o yung mga guide na pinag-follow natin para mamamantain natin yung computer natin sa maayos na condition. So, with this, users will be able to detect problems such as storage issues and the like. Sa pamagitan din ng pag-maintain natin sa mga computer natin, mas naagapan natin yung mga problems na pwedeng dumala in the future. And lastly, demand for service providers. Dahil nga mas dumadami na ang gumagamit ng mga teknolohiya, mas tumataas yung demand for service providers. So, what are service providers? So, according to Tecopedia, service providers are vendors that provides IT solutions or services to end users and organizations. So, hindi lang sila nag-offer ng mga services or nag-offer din sila ng mga applications na pwede nilang magamit. So, next, what jobs can I land on? Ano nga ba yung mga trabaho na pwede nating makuha kapag um, pinursue natin yung computer system servicing? So, the computer system servicing national certificate or the NC2 qualification trains its learners with competencies that will allow them to diagnose and troubleshoot PC systems and software issues as well as restoring its parts to return the device to its normal function. Ibig sabihin daw kapag tinake natin itong... Um, Kapag pinag-aralan natin lalo yung Computer System Servicing or yung NC2, ma magiging angat tayo sa karamihan sa mga tao dahil hindi naman lahat ay techie or mahilig sa computers. And um, hindi naman, and lahat, and, min and most of the time, kahit uh, mga madali lang yung errors or yung mga kailangan ni troubleshoot, majority of the people, that, hindi pa rin sila, hindi sila marunong mag-ayos nun. So, um, Yung mga tao naman marunong or magaling magayos, uh, yun yung advantage nila. Dahil hindi sila nagkakaroon ng trouble, dahil kaya nilang ayusin rin kapag nag na in, pag na face nila yung errors. So, a person who has achieved the Computer System Servicing NC2 qualification is competent to be a computer assembler, computer service technician, a network technician, technical support staff, computer maintenance technician, and lastly, a computer repairman. Next naman, what are my job functions in the future? 
So, related pa rin to sa sinabi ko kanina. First is computer assembler. Computer assemblers are responsible for producing components and assembling computer parts. So, kung mahilig ka or may interest ka sa pagbubuo ng mga PC or computers, uh, pwede ito sa'yo. Next is computer service technician. This job may include setting up hardware and configuring software and drivers. Other tasks may be maintaining and repairing technological equipment as well as computer peripheral devices. So, kung sa computer assembler ay more on hardware and sa pag-assemble ng PC, ang computer service technician naman ay ganun din, pero nagka-configure din sila ng mga software, ng mga drivers na kinakailangan para dun sa um, computer. And sila din yung mga nagme-maintain and nagre-repair ng computer. So, next is network technician. This is an IT or information technology professional who is responsible in building and troubleshooting computer networks. So, dito naman sa network technician, more on, of course, networks. At sila yung mga nagka-troubleshoot ng mga problems sa network. Kasi may mga times na hindi naman natin may iwasan na magkakaroon talaga ng problema sa network na ginagamit natin. So, next is technical support staff. This position can be very in demand in various organizations and or business establishments. A technical support staff may be in charge in the maintenance of computer systems, installation of devices and software, and configuration. So, ito, it demand naman to sa mga establishments or sa mga malalaking companies na, let's say, from the title or the name itself, support staff. Sila yung tumutulong sa company kung kunwari nagkakaw problema sa computer or merong kailangan i-install sa computer sa office, mga ganon. Sunod ay ang computer maintenance technician. This job has a more diverse set of skills but is responsible for maintaining and providing technical support to overall daily computer performance. So, anong pinagkaiba nito sa technical support staff? So, sinabi kasi na sa computer maintenance technician, mas diverse or mas malaki yung skills nila. Pero responsible pa rin sila sa pagpaprovide ng technical support and sa daily computer performance. Which can be both yung hardware and yung software. Lastly is computer repairman. This position may be common to computer-related businesses that provide repair and maintenance services. This job requires extensive knowledge on diagnosing and repairing different devices that will be brought to them. So, dito, from the name itself, repairman, kapag nagkakaroon ng problema sa PC ng client mo, ikaw yung magda-diagnose, magda-troubleshoot, kung ano ba yung repair na pwedeng gawin sa PC ng client mo. Next, I, what does the qualification require you? CSS and C2 qualification. So, because technology also changes rapidly, computer technician, kailangan updated ka sa mga current trends ng technology and developments related to the computer industry. Dapat alam mo yung mga bagong release na PC, yung pinakaluma, etc. In addition to that, computer staff may need to work with various people that will require their expertise. Dito malalaman dito mas ma-i-improve yung kaalaman mo and mas magiging expert ka kapag nakakapag-work ka with computer stocks na expert din. Thus, the ability to work in groups and the ability to translate technical information to non-technical users may be required when working in this field. So, having a CSS NC2 qualification is an entry point for a career in the computer field. So, basically, kapag may ganito ka, mas madali kang makahanap ng job kasi alam nila na may ano ka na, may experience ka na about dito and mas magtitiwala na nga sila sa'yo dahil may ano ka, may certificate ka na nga. And being a computer technician may require you to travel to see clients or be at an office and workplaces as a member of the IT support team. As a technician, you must possess the interest and skills that the job demands. What knowledge and skills do I need? First is, dapat may sapat ka na kaalaman sa computer hardware. So, pag sinabing may sapat ka na kaalaman dito, kailangan alam mo rin kung paano mag-update ng mga systems and pag install ng mga essential software na kinakailangan sa mga uh, technological devices. And pangalawa, dapat may enough knowledge ka rin sa electrical safety and hazards. Kasi, kinakailangan talaga ito para maiwasan yung mga problems na pwede mo ma-encounter while Um, nagme-maintain ka or nagre-repair ng isang computer. And pangatlo is dapat may enough knowledge ka rin sa mga operating systems 
para kung sakaling maka-encounter ka ng issues or problems while nag, uh, nag-offer ka ng service sa client mo, is alam mo kung paano to i-troubleshoot. When it comes to skills, syempre ang kailangan naman natin ay ang communication skills. Ito naman ay para makapagbigay tayo ng mga information dahil hindi lahat ng tao kaya i-digest yung mga terms na ginagamit ng isang technician. Next, ang systematic way naman ng pag-resolve ng mga problema. Hindi kasi pwedeng basta-basta lang ang ating pagre-repair. Dapat meron tayong systematic way para maiwasin din natin yung pagkakamali. Ang next naman ay ang ability to meet deadlines. Syempre para sa mga customers na rin at kasunduan or agreement sa customers. Dapat rin na physically fit ang isang computer technician. Dapat kaya niya magbuhat na at least 50 pounds tumayo for long periods of time dahil for sure sa pag-repair ng computer talagang magsasquat or yuko tayo para ayusin yung isang component. Kaya, stay healthy. At yun lamang ang laman ng introduction of CSS.